gonna be the year. I'm, I'm gonna find and create some way to make it happen. I, we will fire this car up and do a burnout in it this year. Click on this video because it intrigued you for some reason. Welcome. being said some of you new guys who may just now be watching this video or tuning in to see what is powering this car let's check it out it is a 5.3 liter v8 built by yours truly and my best friend ben um, it is a gen 4 internals with upgraded bearings uh, it's got an ls9 camshaft ported heads that me and ben ported ourselves the uh, Speedmaster intake manifold that you see right there on top. Down below, we have an upgraded oil pump, so it's a Melling high pressure oil pump. Canton racing oil pan that's baffled. We've got upgraded trunnions on the inside, as well as upgraded valve train, so double beehive springs, titanium retainers, um, up, or L7 lifters, and push rods. And I think that about makes it up for the head work. And of course, the engine was built with boost in mind. So we will be slapping a fat spoolie boy on this once it's up and running and we know it's good. So the car itself is a 2001 Lexus IS300. Now some of you may be wondering, but Devon, doesn't the Lexus IS300 have a 2JZ from the factory? Yes, it does. This particular one was already blown up with chunks of metal everywhere, so I didn't use it. And I already had this LS built, ready to go. So I ripped 2J out, sold it, threw the LS in. Here we are today. Interior is pretty much exactly how I got it, outside of the back seat. Um, I did put on this door. When I got the car, it had no rear door right here. <laughs> and then I also put in the back seats, red suede and black leather back seats. I put those in here because they didn't have any back seats. So did the trunk which is why the trunk is Alteza. So this is a JDM trunk that I sourced from a JDM part supplier that we have here in town locally. Up front for suspension, so far we have replaced all the arms and bushings. So it's got new upper control arms, uh, new lower control arms, new tension rods, new inner and outer tie rods. So the only thing I need up front is the coilovers and of course new brakes. In the back suspension, we do need to still get a lot of the rear suspension. So we still need to get the rear arms and bushings, um, as well as, of course, coilovers, like I said, and the brakes. Uh, change out the seats. I have idea what I'm doing for the seats. And of course, get a front clip for it. So we've got fenders, hood, bumper, light. Well, the lights are in the trunk, actually. We still have those. And then, of course, we need to get transmission. So we're looking at a T56, ideally, but we may also accept a CD09. Um, I probably will stay away from the AR5, but it's possible, because they, they do work, they are out there. Um, but ideally, I'd like to do a CD09 or a T56. So maybe even a ZF6 speed, out of like an older E46. So that's what we're looking at for trans transmissions right now. So, you guys are wondering, and I know this because I've got numerous comments this old girl right here. Best to just make a video to address the comments and the concerns and the questions. Actually started probably six years ago at this point. It's been a really long time in the works. And that's terrible to say out loud because no, it's not running yet. What are you doing, Duval? I'm testing out this new tool I got. What is it? The die grinder. Sexy. Very good reasons as to why. And that's what I'm going to cover right now. So today we're going to be cleaning the engine up, getting the block surfaces for the gasket surface nice and clean. Get the block itself nice and clean, grease free. So while we're working on it, while we're building it, it's easy to clean, it's clean, and it looks better. And it'll be easier to paint. First built the engine, it was 
just for something to do. Not going to college at that point. I think Ben was still in college, but I wasn't. We had a lot of free time. We loved cars and we wanted to do something. We wanted to build an engine together. We liked building engines. So we built a couple of engines on the channel and we're like, you know what? This is fun. Let's build another engine. So we got the 5.3 as a bare block. Bare? It's also the most expensive. And since this is a budget with a spare crank, and over the course of, I don't know, a year, we built the engine. All, it, all the engine itself needs right now to run is the front accessories, ignition. By ignition, I mean ignition coils, and then a fuel rail and fuel. <laughs> Pretty much it. The engine itself is entirely complete from an internal standpoint, and of course a PCM. And at that point, we can fire it up here for the first time. There is a moment of truth. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. It's the moment of truth, guys. Are you guys ready? We're ready. Are you ready? Eh? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> story short why hasn't the engine run yet even though we put it in its car why hasn't it run yet a lot has happened between now and the time that we built the engine also between now and the time that we put the engine in this car you gotta watch the end there hit a little it feels home Well, actually, honestly, we, even during the peak of the channel, we were both very, very active on it. We still lived pretty far apart, but I think that period of time, he wasn't usually working, but I was, so it made it easier to make our schedules match. Hi, right, guys. Well, you heard it first. Yeah. We heard it. It ran. It didn't run long because it's like 2 o'clock. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, like, it's like 2 o'clock in the morning, and it's really, really loud. And it needs exhaust. Yeah, it's running open hitter right now. <laughs> we just wanted to hear it. Get off work at 7 o'clock and just basically head straight to his house. We'd work on the cars and shoot videos all the way till 5 a.m. sometimes. Then once he started working full time, then my working started to get a little spotty. And basically this just meant that the income wasn't as consistent as it needed to be to keep the build going on either front. Um, but we're stoked. It started, it fired. Pun intended, it fired yeah. into the clip here. Woo! To fast forward to where we are today, I had my first kid, yes. And so a lot of my time, money, and availability has been going towards my new family. I just haven't had the resources or the time available. I know if you follow my social medias, it may seem like it. <laughs> I'm just trying to make something happen from nothing. The sun's going down and the lighting's going to, to crap. I really, 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 really want to get this car done. Like I'm itching to hear it. I'm itching to drive it. And I'm itching to share all of that with you guys who have been so loyally watching and supporting us throughout the years. What's going on tonight, guys? So we're going to teach ourselves, ourselves, how to port heads tonight. This is the first stage that we're gonna do. Um, go and tell them what this is. Uh, this is a double burr cutting tool. I got it at Eastwood. Um, yeah, so, damn it. This is gonna be the year. I'm, I'm gonna find and create some way to make it happen. I, we will fire this car up and do a burnout in it this year. Ideally, I would love to take it to SEMA. I have huge plans and ideas in mind for this car to make it a really cool SEMA car, but also just a really cool drift car, build car, well-purposed race car because I want to drift in it. I want to do track days. I want to do Texas mile top speed runs. To make that possible, the car needs to be built um, a very specific way. <laughs> All right, so we got a die grinder here and we got a long six inch double burr cutting wheel and uh, we're gonna port these heads with them.
to make this video to let you guys know that yes, the build's still happening. Yes, it has taken way longer than any either of us could have imagined. It is still happening and we are gonna get it done. And I say thank you so much for all the support up until this point. If you do wanna help finalize this build to get it out sooner, there's two ways you can do it. Actually, there's a lot of ways to do it, but there's two main ways you can do that. The sun is like playing games with me right now, so I'm gonna be adjusting my ISO here so you guys can always see me. Number one is I just recently created and launched a new company. It's a juice company, it's called Fruit Mana. First taste test, fruit mana, sweet berry lemonade. That's good. That's really good. No artificial flavors, no preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, just fruits, water, some sugar, some honey. Wait, what and some vanilla, um, strawberry, strawberry, banana, and lime. Yeah, and pineapple. That is good. Oh my god. You like it? That is really good. Yeah. Awesome. What do you think? Very good. Very good. Let's see your genuine reaction. Was that Simon? Huh? Was that Simon? No, this is my own drink. Okay. That's good. You like it? Awesome. That's good. Awesome. Yeah. That's good to hear. Yeah. Sweet. And I will be doing more posts on social media as that becomes a thing. You are able to pre-order it right now. It is a 100% all natural fruit juice made by yours truly. I created the recipe. I juice all the fruits myself. It's all made in-house by me. Uh, it's a labor of love because I love juice, but I love natural things too. And it seems like as time goes on, it's very difficult to get something natural. It is possible for you to help support us and experience a really good, awesome, fresh fruit juice. So I'll post the link in the description as well. So for anyone that wants to try it out to support the channel, thank you. Thank you ahead of time. And I know you won't be disappointed because it is absolutely delicious. Anyone and everyone that's ever tried it, they love the flavor. It's very robust, it's very aromatic, and it's amazing. So, I hope this answers a lot of your burning questions and uh, concerns about the 5.3, 500 horsepower budget build. Yes, it's been in limbo for a long time, but it is there, it is here. Cat hair. And I do, I am itching to finish this thing. And I appreciate you guys' support and sticking around for all, throughout all this. So, like I said, if you guys would love to support to help finish this project to get it done sooner, Fruit Mana, the juice, get you some juice, try it out, let me know what you think. And of course, channel merchandise, it's still there. Um, and it will be getting updated to give you guys some fresh new gear to, to, to feast your eyes on, sink your teeth into. So, anyway, Thank you so much for checking out this video. We appreciate it. It has been a while, but it, I'm getting back more consistent now that I have a rhythm in place. You know, the baby's not as young as she was before, so I don't have to be watching over as much. I can kind of step back here and there. Um, yeah. So thanks again. Remember to go out there, do something awesome. Peace.